Hello everyone, MG Tomb here. After a long, long time, I'm back on this game, which is F1 2022 Manager. As you know, due to health reasons, I couldn't continue to play it, but now I'm back. And uh, I had to skip all the way to the end of the season one. In the downtime, I played it, enjoyed it, and now we are at the end of season one. So basically, this is the preseason of season two. So that's where we're going to start. So welcome back. Hopefully, I'm going to enjoy this this time. And uh, this will be fun. Yeah. Now, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. So let's get right into it. We're at Williams. We have almost $20 million in hand. And the season has basically ended. I have finished the season P9. And the drivers basically are... Oscar Piastri has gotten 12 points. Alexander Albon, one point. But that's not the point. Because everything I did was to gear up for Season 2, as you can see in the chassis. I've gotten the upgrades here. Front wing, brilliant. Rear wing, everywhere I have research. Everywhere I have research during the season. So hopefully the car will turn out better than last time. Okay? That's the main function. So we're going to move on to Season 2. We don't have to worry about anything at all. Okay, end of the season review, that's fine. Lost a bit of ground in the in this part, but no worries. Okay, now we'll see what the changes are. All position bonus point, yes. Double points for last race, yes. I didn't want that, but apparently I didn't have the choice. So now we move on the we get the CFD simulator upgrade. That's also good. All of this is gearing up to the season two because now I have great facilities in general. Okay. I want to upgrade this, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay. I'm gonna wait for these season in P2. Like everything is good. Everything is good. We can compete at the top in season two, hopefully. Okay, let's move on. Chassis research needed that. Okay, sponsorship obligation. Another research is coming up. Side parts, good. That's also good. Okay. Underfloor, the main bit. Very, very good. We're pushing the boundaries. Clearly. And here we go. The end of the season, right? So we move on to the preseason. This is the important part. Welcome to the new season. Thank you. Sponsorship obligations. So merchandising... I want all of this because I saved money for this. I have $30 million in hand. I can definitely spend a lot of and I'll get income per race from... Where was it? Like... Three sum to straight up a million. Yes, we want this. This is also fine. No, 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 no. I don't want it Chris performance to decrease so 16 is fine memorabilia events morale will be paused on the day of each event driver appearances yeah sure why not race day factory event to I mean, I want to cash on money this season. That's my point. You know what? Let's put it 20. Should I do it? Okay, let's move on. 
Okay. Now, we're already tied to Mercedes. Now, this season, I want banging performance, okay? I want maximum power. So, it makes sense. Williams, chef to Red Bull powertrains. In other words, Honda. Ferrari is 20 million. This is 15. It makes sense to go for them. So, I'm going to go for 15 million. Yes, it doesn't matter. We lose that 50 million and we're back. So welcome to the new season, right? What exactly can we do in the new season? Let's look at it. Is there any development points? Race engineer has one point. Ideally invest into his feedback. Now I know this game now, okay? I have been playing it. So... I think I'm going to invest into the rear wing, yeah. And Aiken has like one, which is his lowest point. Let's invest into his reactions. I'm going to replace him. Alban, I'm going to keep. So I'll keep investing into his race stats. Piastri, on the other hand, is really bad at adaptability. That also needs to go up. I think I'm going to replace Piastri as well at the end of the season. Maybe I'm going to keep him for one more season. If it goes out well, what can I do here? Weather center. Let's buy some stuff here. Should I? Well, let's keep it there. I don't need this. These two I need. Buy this. Buy this. Let's hold on to the rest of the money. Let's see what we can do next. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, everything is clear. Buy car upgrades. I think that's something I want. It's the start of the season. The race is three days away. Wait. Where is it? 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 Design center. I can develop three parts. Which is good. Which is exactly what I want. I can develop three parts. So we go to car developments, we go to design, and we take the biggest upgrade of all. The underfloor. 2.4 Yep, 32. Let's do that. Which segment of the car is weaker? It's low speed. We want that on top. We want the top speed back. What else do we need from this car? The high speed is... Wait, what happens if I... It helps in a few places, doesn't help in every single place, so... We're gonna move this down. To see, we do want to balance everything out. The airflow sensitivity to this place. Because I want the dirty air cornering, I want this at, you know, it's, it's 13, it's really bad. I think... We'll have to see. No, it doesn't improve it that much, does it? Yeah, I think we're gonna get everything out of this. And you know what? I'm gonna do an intense one. I will not get it on the first race. That's sad. This way I barely get it on the first race. I probably might have to. I probably might have to. Now we go for the rear wing. Okay. 2.1 here. This is fine. This is a definite thing to invest into. There is no math here. Which is the last part. We will take another big upgrade. Front wing. Like we're going all in this season. We're giving it our all. Our best. 
level best. You want a bit of breaking. I'm going to keep the rest right there. Question is whether I should or not. Hmm. I can afford to lose some here. Right? How big a difference does this make? Not really that big. Yeah, I'll have to take this too. Now I'm keeping it on intense as well. So, there we go. Three massive upgrades before the race. Let's get into it. Let's see how this goes. How is this going to turn out? Okay, keep going, keep going. But I upgraded again. Now I think I'm going to hold because I need to get the upgrades in on an emergency. I won't be able to get them quickly. That's pretty obvious. That's good. Team hub. That's also good. So, factory in poor condition. Question is whether I should or not. I really want to upgrade the weather center right now, but okay, let's keep going. Preseason results. Let's see how we do there. So we have more parts coming in, right? Post Barcelona testing, uh, we're bad. We're bad. <laughs> I ideally want another rear wing now. So I can research a new part, which is another rear wing i'm just gonna check this out i'm just gonna check this out okay i think i need to do this i think i need to do this there's no math about it yeah It's gonna take a lot of time, so I'm gonna rush this one. Oh wait, I'm such an idiot. I'm gonna design another fun thing. Because the low speed is bad, I have to focus on it without a doubt. Okay. The parts we have in the warehouse, we need to manufacture them. So the new front wing, manufacture it. There are nine days before the race. What I want, I'm going to manufacture to an emergency and I'm gonna manufacture the rest in rush so at that I will have a bit of spares the same with the rear wing manufacture to an emergency there's a lot of money I should have used my head
Okay. There we go. Underfloor is done. Okay. I feel the refurbishing is too fast. Like, you shouldn't refurbish that quickly. It, it, it's not good. Manufacturer, manufacturer, which was it? Underfloor. There is tomorrow, so we're gonna manufacture this one in emergency. Should we manufacture three? I think we should manufacture three. And. We are nine in hand, and I'm gonna manufacture another underfloor. People are gonna say, what is this guy doing? Why is he going such crazy about it? Thing is, you want these upgrades as quickly as possible. That's a big thing. I'm already, like, really good at high speed, so... I don't think it's gonna make a massive difference in that aspect. So... Okay, there we go. There we are at the race day. Now, let's look at the car performance. Ooh, we're bad, we're bad. Wait, wait, I haven't applied the upgrades. I'm such an idiot. So, install on car one, car two. There we have the rear wing. Okay, install it on car one and car two, and the underfloor. Okay, right? Everything has been done well. Now we look at the car. Look at the difference. We're still bad in brake cooling and engine cooling. Hopefully we'll improve that in this race. Um, Q2 should definitely be the target for both cars now. I don't know about this, but you know I'm going to keep it at 15. Take both cars there and apply. Like I'm maximizing everything I can. So qualifying straight. Straight up to 5. And I want every car in top 10. Should I go for both cars? Because am I getting greedy? Maybe I have an incident with one car and one qualifying owner. So you know what? We can keep top 10 to 5. Okay. Here we go. Welcome to the new season. Let's go. Is it gonna rain? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> As if it's gonna rain in Bahrain. So here we go. Now we start the season. Welcome to the archipelago of... Thank you, but I'm not interested. I've done this for a pretty long time, so... I think now I'm gonna do the practice, and I'm gonna skip it. So, we'll be back uh, by the time I'm done with the practice. So, till then... Yeah. So, here we are, in qualifying, and we'll start U1 immediately. So, let's see how this one goes. Radio check. Radio check. Okay. They should be green now. Let's look at the traffic in general. I think I'm going to release them right here, so let's skip to that part. So here we are. I think Piastri goes first, and then we'll send out Albin. Let's give them a bit of gap. Okay, Piastri is gone, he's going, he's going, and now Albin. Oh no. Oh, thank god he was coming in. If he wasn't coming in, I would have cried. Okay, here we go. Here's Q1. Let's see what sort of time they set up. Okay. I want their... ...timing efficiently to see how it goes. So Piastri goes first. Let's see what his time is gonna be in Q1 like. I'm gonna fast forward. Okay. What's his first sector like? Let's have like... This is gonna be as a good estimate where we are gonna be fighting this season. I think our target should be... P2. 
in the constructors this season. We have developed the car enough. So it's 27.4, 27.5. He's already a 10 down. Albin is a 10 down on Piastri. Let's see what Piastri does in, in the second sector. There we go. 41.0. What about Albin? 41.1. Yeah, well, it's not that far off, so... Piastri goes P5. Nice. We're genuinely fighting for the high points now. Like, we are in front of Mercedes this season. Already. This is a good season. This is gonna be a fun season. The last season was a pain in the ass. I had such a hard time, so... Let's skip this one. We are, we are through. So we made it through Q1. We're in Q2. I think I'm gonna do something that I haven't done before. It's two seconds slower. I think I'm gonna try using the same softs. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. So we're gonna try the using the same softs. We're gonna see if it works or not. So radio check. I'm gonna wait Copy towards the check. towards the end of the traffic. Yeah. yeah. So we are towards the end of the qualifying. Hopefully everybody comes out. I'm just watching closely. We're gonna be the last cars out, so we get the most grip. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, nine cars out, ten, eleven, well. I think we should leave. Come on. So let's see how this one goes. Piastri's lap. Sounds like someone's locked up. Oh no. I hope I don't get a yellow. What is his lap like? Twenty-seven four. Twenty-seven four. They're setting the same. Albin is a slightly faster. Albin is slightly faster. That's a good thing, I guess. So here we go. What sector two gonna be? 41.16. What's Albin gonna go? 41.24. He got slower, but that's fine. Here comes Piastri. I hope he goes faster. Oh, he did! It's slower, but still pretty fast. Good, good. They made it on the same tire, so we have a tire offset. Now we have an extra tire to play around with in uh, the race, so that's a good thing. I think we're gonna keep it because we'll have two softs for the race, so that's a good thing. So let's go straight to Q3. No waiting. I think I'm gonna go out towards the end. Yeah, exactly at the end. That's, that makes sense. Here we go. Q3, I'm waiting for eight cars to come out. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight are out. Come on. So hopefully this goes well. Let's see what Piastri is gonna do. He's the faster driver. In the last season he was consistently the faster driver. He made a lot of mistakes. So... Oh. The aim is straight up P5 and P6. That's, that's the aim. That's long for short. That's what we should be aiming for. 27.417, 27.484. So Albin is slower. But Albin's stats, we just have to focus on the braking and the acceleration. So it's not going to be that bad. What is the second sector like? 41. 41. Second sim sectors are pretty similar. 
Very, very close. And here comes the Astrigos P5, Albin. P6, nice. Exactly as expected. That's good, that's good. Let's move on to the race. That is a really good performance. So here we are for the race. I... What start strategy is going to... I think in the first season I did a medium to hards. Can I do that again? Nope. No. Piastri can't look after his tires, so it's impossible. Let's see if he does. What then? Even then, you barely are gonna do it. I don't think this is the way to go, so... Let's go to softs. I mean, in... Technically, I do have two softs. I did save them, so I take one for 18. No. 17. Let's assume it's gonna go for 17, and... Barely. The question is, should I do this? Because it, this is gonna barely go. What about... A medium... That's a soft, medium, and medium. That's the easier one, I'm guessing. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go for this. We can tire save on the last one and go again. So... Yeah, it has to be the same strategy. It's a great strategy. It will work out. I think this is the strategy we should go for. I want as much fuel as I can, so I can push a bit on the first lap. Should I? I don't think I should push at the beginning. So, let's go for the race, right? There we it go. It looks like clear skies tonight, with the drivers now in their grid positions. Here's okay. Williams. They're in the front half of the pack, so there's plenty of potential for them. Yes. And then we've got Alex Albon. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. Indeed. Will their hard work pay off today? Here we go with the Bahrain Grand Prix. And it's lights out and away we go. Very, very good start. Push Alvin. You can stop lifting coast. Yes, okay. That's it. It's all okay on fuel, so you can do what you want for speed. Yeah. So let's move on. We want this to go a bit quicker. The Astra is doing well. Alban is doing well. What is the state of everyone else's tires? The rest of the people, like they're on 84, 84, 85, like their tires are gone already. And we have a lot of life in them, so we can use that. I think I'm gonna stop Alban for fighting his teammate, because that isn't gonna be helpful. Especially at the beginning. I want them to pull away from Hamilton.
Hopefully they can clear Hamilton. Hopefully. So they're almost gonna drop Hamilton, I hope. It is this lap. It feels like they will. Like Hamilton is barely holding on. He gets into 9 tenths and a second, so... This is the part where he loses the DRS. Hopefully he loses it. Because he has been dragging everyone along. I want to make them push, but... I don't want to use up the fuel. So, Hamilton is out of the DRS. That's what we wanted. He can't use it, that proves like he's out of the DRS. That's a good thing. So... What is the state of his tires? 64. Like everyone, wear lick 74s before. It's okay, it's okay. Our tires are good. Our tires are really, really good. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Magnuson is irrelevant to our race. So... Let's get closer to the pit stops. And hopefully we can salvage something out of this. Oh no. Oh no, Piastri locked up. Oh my god. Here's the replay. That's so sad, now, man. See the Williams here. He was doing so well, man. Well, they've locked up. He just they went off. Have been happy about that. There was no real pressure. The team are devastated. Let's focus. Yes. Okay, happy to lift and coast. Okay. The Astri has fallen into the hands of Bottas. Like, quite literally, he has gone in his hands. What's the state of his tires? They look fine. The thing is, Bottas is gonna make a move. Even though his tires are gone, he will still make a move. And look at the overspeed. Wow. Push. A position gained for Alfa Romeo. They're just losing time behind him. Now this should be easy for you. Come on. Oh my god, there is a whole track on the right! And this guy's tires are dead. Like they're 54. Wow. Okay, stay there. Stay there, stay there. So, this is the lap we're meant to pit in. I think I'm gonna tell Alban to attack. Okay, we are we are going to medium, so... Attack for this whole lap. Should I tell him to deploy? I don't think he needs to... Technically, he doesn't need to deploy. He's just sitting behind them, so there's no point in attacking. In reality, it should have been Piastri that should have gotten ahead of Hamilton, but, you know. For some reason, he can't attack him.
A podium is definitely on the was table that a here. Up on the track? Uh, maybe it was. It doesn't matter. Gastry did manage to overtake Hamilton, hopefully in the pits as well. Albin has just made 2.8 seconds. Nice pit stop. Please jump Hamilton. Very nice. He's right behind. Very, very good. Just what I expect. I don't think Piastri is going to be able to get rid of Hamilton. So, because he's right behind. He's not behind him. Oh. Wait, what's going on here? They're on hearts. You can't drop them. You can't drop them. Push. Push, man. Push, man. Push it. Come on. Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. Drop them. It has to be right now. Uh, uh. The Astro is stuck. If he doesn't drop them, he's finished. So Alonso has DRS. He's not going to let go Piastri that easily. Piastri has this one last opportunity. Then I'm putting the fuel down to standard. He has to drop him here. Come on. Push. 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 Seven. Eight. Nine. Tenths. And a second. Come on. No. He has not managed to drop him. He drops him, but Alonso has managed to catch him enough to keep dragging himself along. Oh, and Ferrari just gained a place. Come on, come on, come on, come on, drop him here, drop him here. He has gone, oh my god, Alonso, man. Almost, oh my god. Alonso just finds a way. I think I'm gonna do something. I don't want to do this, but I have to do this. And there we go. Let's see. Oh, come on. For God's sake. He's not able to drop him. He has to drop him, otherwise he's stuck. Please tell me he's out of the DRS. Oh, thank God. Thank God, I was gonna cry. Come on, PS3 push. Your tires are already gone. Like, they're gone more than I wanted. Multiple cars crashed. Okay. Is that a safety car? That's a crash. Multiple cars, I think. I mean, there's no safety car, so it doesn't matter. Let's move on. The pace is good. I mean, we're doing well. We're like, we can't fight the Ferraris. They're way ahead. So our fight is with the Red Bull for the P3, which is right next to me and about to overtake, I think. Yep, there we go. So... Red Bull gained a place! Good for them. Thing is that... Hopefully they don't mess it up. What an overtake. Nice. He's not be he's not gonna be able to drop him. Albin is like in a really really good place. He's I slower. Someone's run wide. Please shut up. Oh. I think P3 is definitely on the table. P3. From P3 to P5, we can get one. 
hopefully this goes well. We're miles ahead of like the Mercedes. We're way ahead of them. We're way behind the Ferrari. We're fighting with the Red Bull. So we are in P3 and P4 should be the target. So let's move on to the next pit stop. Hopefully we'll get some action till then. Right now we're just fighting with Perez. There we are at the next pit stop. I'm gonna tell Alban to attack because this is the point. Copy. And even Piastri. Attack man. Just do what you can. Yeah. So wait. So one of the Ferraris has pitted. That's Sainz. He's behind. Hopefully this goes well. Rears are hot. Copy. No worries, no worries. We just have this one lap we need to push. And then we're going into the pits. So... Wait, what's going on? They didn't pit. Oh, I forgot to pit. I'm such an idiot. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. So here we go. Alban pits. On this lap. Hopefully. Drop back a bit. Yes. And so does Piastri. This is our last pit stop. So I think I'm going to... Look after the tires, because I think the tires will almost fall off. Oh, that was such a nice double stop. Yeah, I think I'm going to genuinely look after the tires. And just harvest the battery at the moment. Yeah, take it easy. Something. Just look after the tires because I think the tires aren't gonna last. Science tires will go out to lap 57. So I don't know what Verstappen is planning. He had definitely has to do a pit stop. So he's gone. Perez is are also gonna go. So we just need to look after our tires. We just need to look after our tires. Oh my god. Alban, Let's you can't take be serious. A closer look. Now we see the Williams here. He just locked up on the last well, I don't lap. I don't know what they were thinking there. They're completely off the racing line. Thankfully he had a big, big gap between him and Perez. Oh, big lock up there. And exactly as I said, Perez's tires are dead. They'll come to us. His tires are at 29. Ours are at 44. So we just need to push now. With tires are happy to push. Yes. What a great strategy! Look. You can stop lifting coast. How we're going to drop him now? Watch. Use energy. Copy. And we're going to get the fast slap. Hopefully. Last lap. Last lap. And there's an overtake from Williams. He can't even catch up. Like, I'm deploying everything that I saved up till the last lap. The tires are in good shape. I mean, uh, we couldn't fight the Ferraris, but 3 and 4. P3 and P4. Best result. Perez is even out of the TRS. And Piastri is going for a fast slap attempt. Wait, is he? I hope he is. I hope he is. Charles Leclerc is today's winner. Here comes Albin. Albin, come on, come on. Will he get the fastest slam? Okay, so that's check the flag. I hope Piastri got it. Brilliant. Brilliant. Take all the pick up on the way in. Piastri gets the fastest slap. Maximum points. First weekend. 
Take all the pickup you can. Now we can fight, we can. as the great Fernando Alonso would say. Just check and flag. Now we can fight. Now we can fight. Great job, guys. Great job. That's Leclerc, B1, Sainz, B2, Albin, B3, Piastri, B4, Perez, B5. Hamilton, B6, Norris, B7, Russell, B8, Alonso, B9, in, uh, he's in the Alfa Romeo. And Gasly in P10, in Alpine, as he was meant to move. Wow. Great job, Alvin. Great job, man. Great job. What a pleasure it was to watch Alex Albon on the track. Podium. And an amazing result to match. Great job. Williams are back, baby. This podium is a remarkable oh, wow. achievement for the whole team. Wow. We're coming, Ferrari. We are coming after you. And it's the former Red Bull Junior team driver who continues to fly high. I don't know how easy... For these drivers, they'll be taking home their trophies and a decent haul of points for their team. A very impressive showing today for Williams. This was thrilling to watch. They've done an excellent job and they deserve all the plaudits. Thank you. At the end of the weekend, it's second place in the constructor standings for them. The teams now look ahead to the next round, where they'll do it out in the sand dunes of Saudi Arabia. Of course. Just watch. Absolutely gonna trash everyone there. So that was a great result. Now here we are in the drivers. As you know, just like the race result, who is there in the constructors? We are P2. We are blooming in the constructors. Last season we finished P9, this time we're already in P2. Exactly what you want. Nice. Wow, we got 4.9. I think we will be able to develop everything pretty quickly, so... Nice. I hope you enjoyed that. So, I'll see you guys till next time. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care of yourself and... Goodbye. Remember to like and subscribe. I mean, it's... Uh, it's a really, really, really good season. I think we're gonna be able to win it. And hopefully, I'll wrap up this game and move on to the next one. So, till then, take care of yourself and goodbye.